Bible says the Lord of glory. If we can't give him a hand clap, the Lord, what can we do? Amen. Praise but I want to talk to you just a minute before I read this. Amen. And I'll find you in a minute. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. About a house we'll build. It. Amen. How many of us is always working on our houses? Will? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody who's yeah. working on a house, brother. He's a middle and a deep and a thump in the kitchen and a knocker trying to get the thing built. Trying to make it better, trying to make it warmer. Right. And I did too. I beat and thumped up her for about two yeah. years and finally got kind of what I wanted. Amen. Glory to God. Yeah. But I wasn't out of nothing glorious. I was out of a church that would be warm and where people could stay cool and come and sit down and worship the Lord. Amen. Right. And worship the Lord in peace. Amen. Right. That, that's Lord. really what I was after. Amen. Glory to God. I want that for something to be glorious. Glory to God. Because why the Lord is going to come and burn it all down. He ain't got no use for that stuff. Because everything that we got is junk. Amen. God's not interested in the junk business. Amen. No. He's not interested in that. He's interested in somebody that's pure and white and pretty and clean. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Not something that's ugly and nice and scarred up and beat to death. If you read in the Bible, everything that could and went up before God was perfect, brother. Amen. It wasn't no spots on it. Amen. It didn't have no wrong color on it. It didn't have two colors either. It had to be one color one one color only right and no spot or blemish or he won't accept it for no kind of sacrifice and he's not going to accept me and you and we got spots and blemishes on us and wrinkles on our garments he ain't going to accept it friend we'll lose that and where we're going to go just the lake of fire was burning forever and ever with a fire and a question to run that's something to think about tonight where are you going to go just like I read that sign it said you're going to go somewhere and you're going to stay there forever and you decide where amen and I made a decision I'm going to go to heaven right I'm going to go to I don't know if the fact that fight with the devil. Mm -hmm. But like she said a while ago, her churches is in the shape of this world. Mm -hmm. Listen, brother, I've been in a room of church now about nine years. I've seen everything in the world up there, brother. Mm -hmm. I see people come in and start a fight almost. Mm -hmm. They're people not godly people, they are devil people. That's right. Listen, godly people. What did Jesus say? I know you are my disciple when you love one another. Yeah. If you love one another, you are my disciple. Yeah. But if you don't love one another, you're not my disciple. Yeah. Right. Well, I call Jesus the pure love. For God so loved the world, and He gave His only begotten Son. Yeah. And for Jesus loved men you so much, that He was willing to go to that cross and yeah. But go back to them houses. We need to be working on that house up there, brother. Not the ones down here. Yeah. We need to spend more time working on that house in heaven yeah. than we do the ones that we live in. Back in the work, we ain't gonna live here forever. We're gonna live up there forever. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah! I, pray, listen, I don't know about you, baby, but I. That city, that church of Philadelphia. Amen. Hallelujah. 
That's in the fourth chapter, I think. That's what I'm about to say. I keep that wing going over. Yeah, that wing's in the fourth chapter. Hallelujah, glory to God. Amen. But let me tell you something. If you read about the other ones, if you read about the other ones and see what it says, I have someone against you. I have something against every one of you. Philadelphia. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's, what the, huh? it's in chapter 3. Yeah. Verse no. Seven. That's the 7th verse, I think, Roy. Philadelphia, is that it? Yeah, 7th verse. Uh, the third chapter. But I like that 6th verse. You that have a year, year, land here. What the Spirit says to the church. Yeah. What does the Spirit say this day and time? No. Get ready. Get ready. I'm coming soon. I ain't going to be too long. I was just standing in my church about three months ago before preaching. And God stopped me dead in my track. He said, you tell my people that to get ready because in the next 18 months they're going to see signs and wonders that they've never seen before and troubles and trials and heartaches. Amen. And this is what we've already had about three or four of them. They come out big storm up there in New York City. We've had things that happen. Amen. Glory to God. What about that big rock that busted up right here today and almost hit the moon? Amen. Listen, we've had all kinds of trouble, buddy. And we ain't seen it yet because he said there'll be signs and wonders coming down yeah. out of heaven. Amen. That we're going to see it. It ain't over with yet. Look back at the shape of earth. And then you're going to see starvation. And hunger come up on this country all because of the people and the kingdom that's sitting down here are running this. Now, what did Jesus say? He's going to come back and he's going to turn down the kingdom of the devil. Why? Right? Because the devil's got a kingdom sitting here everywhere. He started in 1962 when he ran it. And he took God out of school. The devil moved into the school houses. He took God. He set up kingdoms everywhere in this country. And he's running like crazy right now. That's right. Baby, look out there. Look at our government up our horses, he said. Now they want to take seed and cover up all the scriptures on them buildings. Yeah. She's going to cover it up. Hallelujah. Yeah. Like that song, what's wrong with living right? So they want to put God and the Ten Commandments out of sight. But I like the song, I just tell me, what's wrong with living right? Amen. But there's nothing wrong with it. But then people's going to have to live for a trouble life. A trouble life. But let's read a little bit of this. Amen. I like what he said to the church of Philadelphia. Amen. And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia, right? These things saith he that is holy, he that is true, he that has the key of David, he that opened, and no man shut it, and shut it, and no man can open. Amen. Amen. God can do it all. Hallelujah. He can open doors for you that nobody else can open. I pray and ask God to help me open doors that I can open to and go into not to be big or not to be nothing, but that I can preach to somebody. I like to preach to other people who get saved somewhere. And God opened the door to WIJT. I didn't ask to go up early, asked me to come. Yeah. And I thank God it is. I said I'm surely going to do it. But you know what? I was criticized and put down. Even from the clothes that I wore. Even the clothes I had on. I was talking about like a dog. Amen. That's right. Hallelujah. But I kept on preaching anyway, buddy. Hallelujah. I didn't care what they said. Amen. Amen. Mitchell, was that? We should probably working on the phones. Let me think about going, going on TV. Didn't want to go. But like I told Sister Margaret, I work here where you put me. Yeah. I'm trying to get to heaven, baby. Praise the Lord. I sure don't want to be a star. I just want to be G what Jesus had me to be. Amen? <laughs> my Lord, my Lord, sure, we live in a world of heartaches and sorrows. Amen? Yes, we are. Heart and people talking about people and tongues are running and flopping over there and they're talking about be busy about it. Amen? The Bible says the day the Sunday are is a tongue. Yes, it's, a, it's full of poison. Amen? And yes, fire. The hymn will destroy the world and it's just You know what you can do? Destroy Some, somebody bad can come into church and run over a good Christian and do that. Sure can. They can. But you know why? Because they want you not to stand together. That's right. There was one woman brought up to take the Ten Commandments out of school. Yes, and they went through a voter burn. It was six to two. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. In 1961, they told her that. Yeah. One little woman. Nobody in the United come against her at all. You know what? They can beat them coming to this church out and run everybody out here. Yeah, they are. They can do it, buddy. But what are we doing? They're going to get him in the church, call him to the door, throw him across that highway. That's right. Say, no, I cast you out. Yeah. Because. Well, but how do you know he's wrong? If he comes in here trying to throw you out, he's wrong. Amen. He's not a Christian man. He don't love God. No. He's doing what he wants to do. Amen. Hallelujah. My Lord, why would somebody want to hurt somebody? Amen. My Lord. That's what he said here now. I know thou works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. For thou has a little strength, and hast kept my word, and has not denied my name. Praise God. Now, let me tell you a little something, friends. They're getting ready to write you one of these. Bible was a brand new one. Huh. It's already in print. Oh yeah, they're going to take their Bibles. They're going to write one brand new Bible. They're going to live by one more orders. No Jesus and no God, no Holy Ghost and no blood. Ain't going to be nothing like that. It's a, what they call it, but you got to see an issue. 
Right. You got an issue in your life. You got an issue in your life. No, Jesus says, seek out the old path and walk there in. Sin, right. sin. I don't care what they call it. He said he'd be calling good, bad, and bad, good. Amen. Don't know the difference. People don't know the difference no more. No. Now, I tell you, somebody's coming back one of these days, standing on the cloud of glory. I don't care what men you say or what men you do or whatever we go, whatever happens, we're going to pay for it every day, what we say. There's no getting away from it. Now, we get away from these judges and lawyers down here with a little money and stuff, but they ain't going to buy him. They ain't going to buy him, ain't it? I love what he said there, don't you? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God, hallelujah. I like that. This is what Jesus said. I'm going to read that to you again. In verse 8, I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door. Amen. He set before me an open door. Yeah. When I got that church up there, don't you think I ain't had trouble, buddy? Yeah. There'd been people coming out to our church all pieces of them. But they left too. They had to go too. Maybe. Yeah. And I finally wised up a little bit. The Bible says nothing but labors among you. Yeah. He said, you'll know the Spirit when the Spirit comes in this time. You'll know it. Amen. That's true. Hallelujah. I'm at him at the door. Listen, you can't get by. I'm not going to put a bit no more. That's you can right. sit back in that church all I'm not running you off. You sit in the church, but you're not getting up there saying yeah. kicking no more. I won't lie it up there. That's just all there is to it. Yeah. Why? Because yeah. whatever Brenda lets happen here, Brenda's going to have to pay for it. That's true. Yeah. Hallelujah. Because God gave her this church. She's the boss over it. She's got to hit on I've got to hit on my church. And I'm going to pay for what goes on up there, buddy. That's if I let true. sin come in and it happens and take over and run them people off, why would I let somebody come in behind that pulpit and preach good, preach bad stuff to my good people? And me and Noah better. God's going to hold me responsible for it. Yeah. Sure, girl. I've got to pay for it, buddy. I've got to pay for it. And I'm going to take good care of it. If I buy a car, I swear I'm going to give it to somebody. I'm going to drive and pay for it. Yeah. Amen? <laughs> Hallelujah. But he said, listen to what he said now. I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door. Yeah. No man can shut it, for thou has little strength. Nobody's going to come and shut it. My church has no one will let it. No. Somebody, that, that guy that I want to come up there, he come back the next day. I was at the church, the front of the church working. Pulled up on his motorcycle. Mr. McIntosh, I said, yes, sir. You know, I thought we were going to have a fist fight for a minute. Yeah. And I was going to fight, because I'll fight for my Jesus. I don't care. Yeah. Listen, the Bible says, have peace with all men if possible. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. He's going to do this, he's going to do that. You won't have no more church. I said, you know what I'll do? We'll be nobody there but me and my wife. I'll have church. And I said, if I don't want to do that, I'll get me a big board that over that door. Because I want that stuff going on and hate back. I sure ain't going to let you, mister. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. He got in jail. I got the paper. There he was in jail. He got in jail. I'm trying to say, come on, you can't worship God two ways. No. Stop water and sweet water won't run on the same faucet. No. It's either going to be right or it's going to be wrong. That's Jesus right. said, you either love me or you hate me. Yeah. How are you either for me or against me? Yeah. I believe God's already turned him over to reprobate his mind. So if I ain't touch, it's going to be bad. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. My Lord, my Lord. Hallelujah. But Jesus come and give me a new life, friends. Amen. And going to give it to us. And we, if we can hang on to it, we always have. Amen? But this is what it says now. No man can shut it. No. For thou hast a little strength. We ain't got much strength, but we got a little left in us. Amen? My Lord, and has kept my word and has not denied my name. I won't deny the name of Jesus, and I won't deny the name of God, and I won't deny the name of the Holy Ghost. No. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because Jesus said, you know me, you know my Father, I'm in my Father, my Father's in me. And if you see me, then I go to the Father and pray. He'll send back another country, which is the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And let no man deny that or take it from you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm not going to let nobody take it from you, buddy. I don't know who Jesus is, and I don't know where he brought me from. Men that woman right there have been through hell since the year of 2009. Through mortal hell, buddy. I had to have my neck on right on it, stopped up, couldn't see nothing, my eye go blind. Had a bad, I had a knee to go bad, I had to have a brand new knee put in. Why all the time she's having this stuff? And I cried, God, hit me, I don't need to have this knee operation. I need to save so I can help my wife work with me and yeah. work and help her, amen. But God took away. He made a way when I got up right on my little son calling me from Florida, Dad, I'm coming home. Yes. I'm going to help you, Mom, amen. Praise so praise I couldn't get nobody to help me even get a walker to her. Journey more labor, they're not going to get about help me get a walker to the van. Amen. Right, but I went down to the airport in Lexington and picked my little son up. He come over there. I said, I'm going to get out, buddy, in one second. The walker was there. And he waited. She stayed right with me, buddy. He right. made right. me help me when I needed help. Amen. Helped his mother. Yeah. Cook first. Clean the house. Right. Done what he had to do. Amen. Why? Because he loved us. Right. Now, listen, I said that to make a point. We need to do what we can do for Jesus because he loves us. Yeah. Right. He loved, we're his children. We're his kids. Yeah. We're His creation, and we become His children. Yeah. Amen. 
God ain't forgot about me and you. He loves us. He loves us so much that He was willing to give Jesus for me and you. Hallelujah. We should have a love of Abraham and us. He was willing to give up who? Isaac. Are we willing to give up stuff? Are we willing to sacrifice something for the Lord Jesus Christ? Yes, I will. I will. I told God, whatever you want me to do. If you heal my wife. I know I wasn't trying to trade with God. I wasn't trying to do nothing. But I said, God, if you heal my wife, we will go on the road and do more preaching and talking than we've ever done Because we'll be able to do it. We was going to do that anyway. Yeah. When Jerry retired, we was going to hit the road. I was going to buy me an RV, but I was going to go do some evangelizing and preaching and going to Orlando. I'd already been invited to Orlando to hold a week's Bible and preach to another church. Praise God. But we can't go down there because she's sick. She ain't even like the trip. But if God will heal her. I'm not trying to trade with him. Because he already said by his strap to reveal. You know, I ain't tempted him either. I just do I, what I do, what I say I'll do. Yeah. I'm at a company with him, and I'll keep it if he'll keep his. Amen. And he already has. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise I believe he's going to heal him. Friend, I don't mean he's going to leave here. Amen. Amen. My Lord, hallelujah. My Lord, Jesus, help us all. Amen. Yes. God knows everything that means you need tonight. Yes, he, he knows does. our very hearts. He knows our very souls. Amen. Yes. He knows everything about you now. I'm not trying to be big, trying to do nothing. Amen. I'm just Roy. Amen. Lord God, I'm 66 right. years old. Hey, got much time left on the serpent again. I may have a long time. I don't know. But I'm going to do what I can for the Lord until I leave here. Amen. Until God calls me home. Amen. Amen. Lord God. I'm so glad we come out here to this little church one time. Not this one, but the other one. We got saved. Amen. And then you're going to fight the battle ever since. It's been one battle right after another, but I'm glad now that I had something to fight for. Amen. Fight for Jesus. But if you ain't got nothing to fight for, what are you going to fight with? Woo! Devil will come. I was up in my driveway working on a car. I heard somebody come down the driveway walking in the gravel. Praise you, Jesus. I didn't even have to look around. I knew who it was. I didn't work in that car. Praise God. I said, you're here, ain't you? I heard he walked down there in the highway right now. But when he got close to me, the bad feeling come. Yeah. That slimy, nasty, hungry feeling come. Yeah. It wasn't Jesus, because Jesus ain't got a feeling like that. Uh, I said, you hear, ain't you? I didn't even look up. But I said, in the name of Jesus, you leave the same way you come. Yeah. And I heard he walk right back up that driveway. Yeah. I tell you, he did. I said, I rebuke you, buddy. Hallelujah. And I was in my daughter's house and had her had a horse machine in the hallway, turned over, and I couldn't get out, I couldn't get in. And there I sat, buddy. I slid over in that horse for working on it. And all the horse went over my shoulder come somebody. Woo! And he had a feeling about him that was a dog, son. That smelt like a dog. Yeah. I said, hey, buddy. How about getting out of here? I said, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke you. I know who you are, and I know where you're going. And I want you out of this house, I want you out now! Praise Boy, he come out of there, son, he left. Yeah. Now, I'm going to tell you what I said to you. He said, I said, you had a bad smell? Mm -hmm. Yes, that woman wanted a house smell like when the devil was in it. We went to a house and did gaggy. Oh, wow. And there was cleanest people in the country, but I know what she was. And we went, the devil was right in that house. He called us her husband and said, the devil's up here. Y'all come up here. We jumped in the car and run up there. They moved before you get in the move on the right there behind the dollar store. Yeah. Told us always why him. Yeah. So it's a nice thing you couldn't stay for us. Make you want to fold up. The song we talk about always started anointing the walls and the doors. Praise and Jerry started praying, son, rebuking the devil. And the way he went, but yeah. And all it was is a sweet odor come into that church, in that house when the jerk. He just like Praise uh, God. like a few. So uh, don't you tell me about the devil, he's real now. And he'll do everything he can do you, son. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Just like my knee. Praise when I, I was sitting in the house and now some mad off, I was I didn't think I was gonna live. I hurt some man with his knee. I just didn't think he was going to live. I told Jerry, I said, God, I'm going to shoot it up. I couldn't handle it no more. I'm in a plane for three days and I said, never let up. Yeah. And so I went in the kitchen and I sat down in the chair and I said, Jesus, I need you to come and do something for my knee. Yeah. If you don't, Lord, I ain't going to make it. And all it was, hot warm, just like hot warm water. Just like warm water went over my knee. All the way above my foot, I jumped up to the top and said, I truly got this church by me. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. And I went, I had slept on in three days and night, son. Hallelujah. Jesus come on the scene. And he just like he poured warm water on my knee and down my leg. Praise God. Oh, he went away the pain did. And I told her, that's the Lord healed me, son. Hallelujah. I said, touch that knee. Hallelujah. He done exactly what I asked him to do. Thank you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. That's what it says, man. My Lord. Hallelujah. Turned over on me again. Amen. Hallelujah. And don't make no Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan 
which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feast and to know that I have loved thee. Right. We'll come one of these days, friends. We hold on and endure and just hang into this thing because the Bible says they will endure to the end. She'll be saved. Yeah, be saved. But I can tell you what Jesus has done. Amen. He's done a lot for me. When I was laying in that hospital and I'm fixing to go into this operation on this knee. You ought to see what operation it is. You wouldn't believe it. Did you already see it on TV? I've seen it on TV. Oh, how about that's something else? You have to include that. Yes, but they had me on a stretcher. I was going down the hall. I've seen that on TV. I said, Jesus, you said you'd never leave me for six. I know you would. I'm not going to ask you to take all the pain. Just take some of it. I can handle some of it, but I can't handle it all. But I'm going to ask you to do this to me. And the guy that surgeon's hand, I never did feel pain. I ain't felt pain to this day. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. They cut that thing off and ground it down. And if, it, if they took that thing out, I'd be that much shorter. That yeah. That's how they ground that thing down, make it look like that. So we roll. It's unreal. But God was there. Yeah. He was right in the midst of every bit of it. Amen. Yeah. And that's what it says. My Lord, my Lord. Jesus come to give life and to give it to me. Yeah. And I know He'll give it to you. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. I will make it. Said, because I have kept the word of my patience. Now listen, friends. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. Amen. Because we have kept patience with the Lord. Yeah. And done what He asked us to do. He will keep us from the hour of temptation. My Lord, hallelujah. Which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. We all will get tempted at some time or another. Yeah. Just like Jesus was tempted. Amen. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Don't let nobody take nothing from you, right. friend. Oh. In the Lord's trouble, will I make a pillow in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out. Woo, I love it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. My Lord, my Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And my Lord. And I will ride upon him in the name of my God, in the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God, and I will ride upon him my new name. Just think about that, friend. But we've got a terrible time coming at us. We have got, but we did. We're gonna be tried now. You just get ready. He said we'll be tried, like like a uh, uh, like at a fire, like gold in a fire. We're gonna be tried. Amen. Amen. But if we hang on to Jesus, He'll take it all from us. And I like this right here because starvation is coming on our land. They didn't pass that bill the other day, that farm bill. When they went on that, now they really told the farmers, "You do the best you can." Now that ain't gonna work, brother, because that's what feeds this country. Let me tell you something. We've got a man named Jesus. To walk with you and I. He'll feed us and water us when there's no food, when there's no water. If you don't believe me, let's go back to the old Bible when they come up out of the land of Egypt. And they told Moses, what you do? Bring us here and starve to death. Praise what did Moses do? Pray. And it rained men and ran out of heaven. And it fed them, buddy. And he couldn't find no water and it tapped the rock. Water still running the day out and it fed all them animals and all them people. That's what God will do for me and you. It will. But the first thing we got to do is stand still. We gotta stand still and watch the salvation of God. Praise Hallelujah! That is what it works. God. Just like that he swim. Just like the dry bones in the valley. Yeah. When he told him, he said, Prophesy to him. Yeah. Prophet, do what I tell you and you don't work. Amen. And he prophesied. Yeah. And he swim rolled, but went into them and then dead bones all rolled. Become what? A seemingly great army. Yeah. Amen. God put everything together, man. Hallelujah. And that's gonna come one of these days again. Yeah. And we're gonna see it in this country. Amen. But I tell you, I love this little church. I like this little church. I really do. It's, it's nice, buddy. It's good enough for God to be preached in. Amen. It's good enough for anything. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And we should have our house of God better than anything we can get. Even better than our own homes. Amen. Not that it's going to go to heaven or nothing. It ain't. I heard a preacher say, I got a, a church for $8 million. God's going to, Jesus is going to preach to me someday. I hate to bust his bubble. Hallelujah. Johnny gets that. She comes up to me sometimes for saying that. But I hate to tell the old boy he's wrong. Because God said they wanted one stone left to put another. Yes, he right. wasn't going to turn it. Yes, He's going to turn his $8 million building down. Yes, but yes, God's word can be preached out. And I like what Jesus done when he walked out on the, on the Mount of Olives. When he walked out there on them hills and preached the word. Yes. He didn't have no microphone. Just think about that a minute, Brenda. Now, there's thousands of people out there. They had to be a long way out here. But the word turned right out there where he was at. And they, they wanted to hear it. Amen. Hey, just think about what the power of Jesus has. Just think about what he could do when nobody else could do. Amen. Absolutely. But I'm glad to know that I've got a Savior. I'm glad to know that I've got somebody 
You know what we're more than conquerors mean to you? We're more than conquerors. Yeah. What are we? Let me tell you what we are tonight. <coughs> if we're right with Jesus, we got a power that's unreal. Right. We've got a power that can move mountains. Yes. Can root up trees and throw them into the ocean. Yes. We've got power, buddy. Amen. We've got power in our hands to help people get saved. Right. We've got power in our tongues to preach the word of God, which is life eternal. Somebody said, I never did see the dead right. I said, see me. Yeah. What do you mean? I said, I was dead. You mean you was laying stretched out? No, I was in sin. Yeah, I said, Jesus said, you're sin, you're dead already. That's true. I was in darkness. He brought me up out of that darkness and his marvelous life. And I become a living soul. Yeah. I, I was just like Adam laying there, buddy. I was a body of flesh and dead. Yeah, he was. But God brought the breath of life into his nostrils. Yeah. He become a living soul, brother. Yeah. Our life is our soul. Amen. We've got to save our life. Yeah, and Jesus will save our life for us. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. You know, we, we keep praying, we keep preaching over and over these churches behind these walls. But we're in the wrong place. You know that? We need to be out here on the byways and the highways. That's preaching. what it says. Yeah. Sure. Telling people about Jesus and his love and the coming of him. Praise and the coming the of the king. Amen. Sure. We can we can live one another up and say we're going to go to heaven. Yeah. Those coming to the name and then you're going to go to heaven if we live right and talk right and walk right and do the right thing. And that, that's a boost that lifts one another up. It's good to know that you. Yeah. But listen, we need to be out there telling the sinners about this. Praise God. Amen. Glory God. That's why I have to preach on WLJC. There's 11 countries you hear us at now. And it's something that for it went in the internet and stuff. Yeah. And you know, and the preaching. And, 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 but I, that don't cross my mind as a preacher because I just was preaching. I didn't care if you know what yeah. they went across the street about. But I was just preaching that they had to do what they asked me to do. Praise Amen. the Lord. But God hears every word that we say. Amen. Now, it's not important what the people down the road down here or somewhere else, what they do is what's important me and you. That's what right. we do. Praise God. I don't know whether you know it or not tonight, but you've been blessed because you come to this church tonight. Praise God. Yeah. Yeah. We will be, you might not feel it or know it, but it's from there. Right. Yeah. It's, well, our prayers that we say is going to be put in the vials. Yeah. Yeah. And going to be in heaven someday. Amen. Hallelujah, Hallelujah friend. We got a blessing tonight. We Hallelujah. got a blessing tonight Hallelujah. from even being here. I don't know about you, but I got a blessing from being here. I like this. I love this little church. And I love all you all. I've been right. living there since she's that big. Amen. That several fast runs throw a lot of rocks out of my life. Amen. <laughs> she had me too. And, but it's all right. We still will stand. We love one another. Walk up down them old roads, buddy, and go to school. And, yeah. and who ever knows? Who knows? That someday, man, she'd be a preacher. Yeah. I would too. Yeah. No doubt. See, we don't know what's before us. No, we don't. But I know what's behind me. Yeah. See, I have to look back and see where I've been. Praise you, Lord. And I can see where I'm going if I keep walking this walk. Praise the Lord. Lord. But, the Bible, but you, come, you don't know it all. Because the Bible says it ain't in the hearts of men. What God's got stored. No. Only, only the scriptures that tell us a little. It won't tell us all. Amen. Yeah. But I'll tell you one thing tonight. If we keep walking with Jesus, we'll walk right through them golden gates. That's true. Them gates of pearl. On them golden streets. We'll get to walk them streets one day. I don't know about you, but i got a lot to see up there. I've got a lot to see. I know i got a mom and some, and some brothers and sisters up there. Amen. And I want to go and see him. Hallelujah. I'll leave my little brother Ernest sitting there right now. Amen. If they got a river and a pole over he's fishing, brother. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. But he called me the other morning and spoke to me. He's going to tell me something. I don't know why, but he will. He loves to fish and hunt. Amen. Hallelujah. He loves to fish and hunt, did Yeah, he loves to fish and hunt. And I'll be the little brother to heaven. He suffered so much. He suffered so much. And I asked God several times, God, why do you let me suffer? Take him home. Just take him home. I didn't want him to go, but I didn't want him to suffer either. No, he didn't. And I've asked him to heal my wife. And she's a lot of prayers going out for her, brother. Yeah, All over the United States and other countries and nowhere else, too. And I know God hears in prayer. Amen. I know he does. But if he don't see fit to heal her, it's, it's his will. Whatever God's will is, that's what. And I, I tell you about that, God, whatever your will is, you do it. And I have to I live with it. I'll be sad. Jesus is right here. You meet him right there. Anybody want to pray? Come on.
thought, boy, we've done such good preaching tonight. You know, that word feeds us. We need that word every time we go to church. We need the word. Singing's good, but I'll tell you what, that word feeds you, and he don't good tonight. I'm on. 